Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my summer foundation routine. So I did film my five favorite summer makeup bases foundations on my channel and I was like, you know what, now that I did that and I had such a good response, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I snatch this face for my summer makeup routine. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the skin because obviously the skin needs to get nurtured. So the first thing I do is I apply it moisturizer. So lately I feel like for the summertime, I tend to get very, very oily if I don't take care of my skin the right way. Um, so I've been using the first Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. This stuff is so good if you do have oily skin, sensitive skin, um, just skin that like requires a little bit more attention. So what I do is I take the product, it's kind of like this jelly-like consistency, and I go in, and I apply it you, and because it is an oil free moisturizer you may think like oh is it gonna dry up my skin but no like it leaves the skin feeling and looking so good and because it is a jelly like consistency I feel like it really does hydrate and replenish the skin but once I have that and I kind of let it sit for a few minutes I go in with my sunscreen so I have been raving you guys know about the first a beauty sunscreen this is their weightless liquid mineral zinc oxide sunscreen um, and I just like to shake it before I apply it and then I go in with a good amount probably about that much and I like it because it's tinted and I apply it all throughout the face and honestly, there's certain days where I just go with sunscreen and I feel like because the sunscreen is a little bit tinted, it does kind of even out a little tiny bit of my complexion. So I go all over the face. And honestly, guys, this is a recommendation, especially if you have contacts or very sensitive eyes, tread very lightly around the eye area. So like this area right here, I kind of stay away from just because I feel like if I get too close, the sunscreen will definitely get into my eyes, irritate my contacts, irritate my eyes, cause my contacts to get like blurred up. Like you guys know the drill. If you do have contacts, it is a struggle. But I also really like to target the nose area. So I always go in with a little bit extra and I kind of just warm it up with my fingers. And then I just go all over the nose. And here's another thing that I've realized, especially with rosacea and having to like go through trial and error with sunscreen. Um, I feel like for me personally, I have to always go in with a moisturizer before I go on sunscreen. Honestly, you can do whatever you prefer. There's no right or wrong way. Some dermatologists recommend applying your sunscreen before. Some say apply it after. Um, I personally, for me, like to apply it after now because I found that on the days where I didn't apply any type of moisturizer, I just forgot or whatever it may have been, I would just go in my sunscreen and it would irritate me. So I do feel like in a way, a moisturizer can provide a barrier between your skin and the actual sunscreen and i feel like whenever i apply it this way i have no issues whatsoever like my sunscreen does well all day long now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and apply our makeup base so where did i put it here we go so for makeup base today i'm gonna be using this which is the bye bye foundation full coverage tinted moisturizer by eight cosmetics this stuff is absolutely incredible i feel like it's the perfect everyday makeup routine for the summertime um i definitely do feel like with this one you get really good full coverage results and honestly i agree with the name bye bye foundation because this gives you that foundation finish um it's full coverage it's beautiful but it still makes your skin look like skin something else that i love about this is that this does have 50 spf so i did mention this in my top five favorite foundations for the summer um and the other ones are just as amazing but i do find myself gravitating this more so for every day like the day-to-day -day basis i like to apply this with a brush just because i feel like it gives me the most full coverage results so i am going to be using my jacqueline hill morphe jh03 brush this is my favorite brush ever to apply foundation or any type of tinted moisturizer and i'm just going to begin applying this and let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see the snatch okay so i'm applying this all over i also love the fact that this tinted moisturizer has um the anti-aging factors I feel like as I'm getting older and as I'm about to step into my mid-20s, I'm gonna be 25 in December, it's crazy. 
um but i just feel like i'm all about protecting my skin like my skin is my priority i will do whatever it takes so that the skin is beautiful for the rest of my life so i can age like fine wine stunning right so stunning gives you such full coverage for a tinted moisturizer and it makes you not want to apply a regular foundation like it's just that good whenever people ask me i always recommend this product because i truly feel like a cosmetics really did that with their tinted moisturizer also their cc cream is great and i have raved about it many times um i just feel like for me right now during the summer i prefer the bye bye foundation just because it does offer a lot of sunscreen in there and also i just feel like it lays so perfectly on the skin you can also apply this with a sponge especially if you do like more so of a natural finish you may want it to be like not too intense um but i just feel like if you really do want to like go for that fuller coverage using a brush will always benefit you and i really do recommend this jh03 brush it's probably my favorite brush that i have used and it's pretty affordable i'm just all about finding products that have benefits that will not only look great right now but also support me for like my long-term journey on taking care of my skin because i feel like at the end of the day you know you can have great makeup but if your skin doesn't look good the makeup won't look good either so this is the foundation on which you guys can see it definitely looks really nice um definitely covered everything that i needed to cover you guys saw the redness completely went away um and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly apply some concealer so what i've been doing for concealer lately especially for like the summertime is i like to apply the elf concealer and this one is the hydrating version this one is my favorite i love this more than the original this one is in medium sand and i'm just gonna go right here like i just love hydrating finishes even though i have oily skin i just feel like it sits really well especially when you are working with a base that's a little bit more fuller coverage um, i feel like having that hydrating creamy in between for concealer it makes everything come together really nicely now you don't have to go in with a full coverage concealer if you don't want to but i just feel like for me concealer is key concealer really makes everything come to life and i like that brightening factor of it so i'm definitely a concealer lady and for concealer, I always like to use my Tati Beauty Blendiful. Now we're going to go in with the Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent. And I'm just going to be taking my powder sponge. I love this powder sponge. It really makes everything just latch onto the skin and really bake the under eyes. So I'm going to go really tight where those fine lines are on the under eye right there. And we're just going to let that bake. Then I'm also going to take a little bit of it down here because this is where i tend to get oily through the day the smile lines the smile lines just don't like to stay oil free so i like to go in and just set that also the chin just like to kind of get that under control and while we let that bake we're gonna go ahead and do this eye I love this concealer. I'm also thinking about doing a top five favorite concealers for the summer. Let me know if you guys would be interested in watching that because I definitely do have some concealer favorites. Maybe it's not even five, maybe it's three, which I feel like kind of makes it more exclusive when you just like F with three concealers that you're just kind of like, these are amazing. Ooh, my eye. I feel like it beats a lot of the luxury concealers and then i kind of drag the concealer if needed onto the nose just because the nose does have a little bit of a sheer finish sometimes so now that we have that we're actually going to go also i almost forgot to do the other smile line we're going to take it right here like that and i'm going to go in with my powder brush this is one of my favorite brushes ever this is the morphe m4 holy shiz m433 i want to say i'll look into it because it's just so faded because i literally use this brush every day but i love it for my under eye and i just dust that away 
and I take whatever's left and I kind of just pat it all over the face. Sometimes if you're not careful, it can definitely make certain foundations or tinted moisturizers separate. So that's why I like to just pat it, especially in the smile line area, just so that it keeps that airbrush finish. And you can see this tinted moisturizer by A Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Foundation, just does such a beautiful job of working well with all different types of products. Like, it looks just completely airbrushed. It looks beautiful. Um, with certain products, just be careful because if you do swipe it or pat it, it will look too cakey and this doesn't look cakey. That's why I love this tinted moisturizer because you're able to build on it with other products. So this is definitely perfect for somebody that does have oily skin. You're already locking everything down. Yes, this is a nice oil-free matte tinted moisturizer, but I would say it's more so of like a soft matte finish. Um, I think for somebody that has like dry to maybe combination skin, you can get that soft matte feel right away. But for somebody that does have oily skin or maybe sweats a lot like me, um, you do have to go in and just set it with the powders that are suited for what you're going for. For me, it's always been the Airspun Cody powder. It's really good. Um, and then you can definitely start to see the face come together really nicely and it just looks stunning. So you can see how beautifully everything begins to come together once you just do the full nines. Um, but I am literally so mad and you guys are probably like, Jessica, where is the primer? You didn't apply primer. And I just realized that I forgot to apply primer. So I'm just like, wow. Wow, so we're gonna quickly talk about primer because we completely just left it out. Um, so I always talk about this, the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. This is my go-to. Um, where I like to apply this product is definitely in the area near the nose. Right here is where I have the most enlarged pores and that's kind of the area where I tend to get the oiliest, um, where I have the most oil production and also a little bit down here in the smile lines. So this is what I like to use for that. And if you guys see this, Clearly, I love it because I hit pan. Another quick little tip that I'm gonna give you guys, you don't have to do this, but this is just a recommendation. Um, if you do have issues with your makeup easily coming off around the edges, so like down here, um, maybe up here, I feel like around the edges of the face, kind of the area where makeup tends to remove the quickest. Um, so what I would say for that is apply a gripping primer. So whether it's the Cover FX, the Milk one, whatever you may try, try that works for gripping purposes apply it in those areas so that it really makes sure that the product just latches onto the skin and really gives it that good tacky consistency now i do have to say um, and i mentioned this in the beginning of the video the first day beauty ultra repair oil control moisturizer can also sometimes serve as a primer for me especially on days like right now where i completely forgot about it i've noticed it on the day, other days where i have forgotten to apply primer as well and i just applied my moisturizer because it does have that really good tacky consistency it really allows the products like i mentioned earlier to really grip onto the skin now the tinted moisturizer that i use the bye bye foundation this stuff really does stay on the face all day long um, i've never had any issues with it moving and even on days where like i don't do all this extra stuff like powdering concealing like it just really does last so this is why it's like my foundation routine product i can't believe i forgot primer but i mean here we are so definitely would recommend these you guys know that i've been talking about the cover effects primer since last year so now we're gonna go ahead and set this face so that it doesn't go anywhere because we want it to last all day long so what I like to do for setting spray, especially when I do want this to be locked into place, is I like to use the Morphe Matte Setting Spray. I love this mist because it is so fine. It sprays really evenly through the face and allows everything to melt right in and really keep the face locked into place. I did a review on this a few months ago and I was so impressed with the way that this applies. So I'm gonna apply this all over. Um, and now the last thing I want to mention, because I know you guys are probably wondering, especially during the summertime, girl, how can I retouch my sunscreen? I need something that's going to consistently make sure that I have that added security. So I have two options. Okay. So listen closely guys. So we have these right here. This is the Milani make it last setting spray 30 SPF. I did review this. This stuff is really nice. Um, but here's a thing with me and this stuff. So this smells so heavily like sunscreen. 
um, and I don't know what it is, but that whole vibe really irritates my eyes. I have sensitive eyes as well, um, and it just irritates them all day long. So that's one thing that I don't like about this. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. And if you don't want to apply like a setting spray and then go in with this, then this is going to be your best bet because it is a makeup setting spray. So it has everything in one as opposed to having to use one that's just setting spray. Um, but typically I would recommend using a sunscreen setting spray to kind of lock things in. But I wanted something that was going to also give me a matte finish for setting spray. So I first went with Morphe. Um, so you can go in with this one and then just throw it in your purse whenever you need to retouch every two or three hours you can definitely go in and retouch the makeup without having to actually apply a liquid sunscreen and having to like be like oh how am i gonna apply this over my makeup so that's one option the other option the one that i have just been obsessed with ever since last year i used this all summer last year is the seriously fab sink it over this stuff is absolutely amazing um it does have five less than the milani this has 25 but honestly, it does so well with my skin. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't irritate my skin. I don't have any issues with it whatsoever that I just feel like it gives me a really refreshed finish. You can find this on Seriously Fab's website. Um, they are a smaller brand, so you can't easily go get this at like the drugstore and stuff. You can only get this at the website. I think there are some places like spas and stuff that do sell this product, um, but I personally really do recommend this stuff. It is so good. Um, and I just make sure that I shake it really well. And then I go in and I apply it. And like, it just, it gives me like a good security blanket over for all day. Um, I do want to say you do want to make sure you shake this one because it can give you like those white little dots of product because this does have sunscreen in it. So it, you do have that situation in there. So you just want to make sure you shake it and you'll be good to go. Um, they have many versions of this, which I think is great because you can go ahead and just throw them in your purse and then be on your way. Um, they have an unscented one if you do have very, very sensitive skin and they do have this one fresh greens. They have some other ones. I personally last year because I do have issues with sunscreen because my really sensitive skin. Um, I just got the unscented one and that one worked fabulous for me. Used, I think I used two bottles of that last summer. Um, but right now I'm using this fresh greens and it's working phenomenal. So I just literally carry this one wherever I go, 25 SPF and keep in mind, I already have 30 and then I have sunscreen from the tinted moisturizer, which doesn't necessarily mean that you can add it all up and you get like a huge quantity of sunscreen. It just means that, you know, you have a little bit more to work with protection wise. Um, and then I just like to miss this every few hours and I feel like I am great for the entire day. So I really, really recommend the Seriously Fab Sink It Over, especially if you're looking for something that's not really gonna irritate your eyes or your skin, this is the way to go. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do to create this long wear, flawless foundation routine for the summertime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys really did enjoy watching this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessica. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video enough to stick around, hit that thumbs up button because I love making videos like these for you guys to really help you with all things beauty. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna become a member of family here on YouTube because I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world because I got you guys covered on all things beauty. So that being said, I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.